here's how to set up a mesh central client on an ARM based MacBook with Sonoma. Make sure to select the Apple OS X universal client and download the client or wget it. Here's a virtual machine where we will install our client. So you just type chmod plus x and drop the downloaded client so that it's turned into an executable file. You will also need to allow it to be executed. So click cancel when you're asked and go to security, security settings, allow anyway, type your pass and then back on the terminal you can try to execute it again. Allow the access and then you will notice that you can install it. So let's add the argument install and the installation will proceed. Then run the same command but with update instead of install. Back on the server, we can see that the client has been added. However, if we try to access the client from remote desktop, you will get an empty desktop. Back on the virtual machine, you will see that we get prompted to give Mesh Agent access to screen and system audio recording. To give access to system audio recording only, go on Show Finder, and then go in View and Show Path Bar. You will be able to copy the path to the Mesh Agent file. Then do Command Maj G and paste the path and select the Mesh Agent client. Now we will disconnect and reconnect again. We will see that this time you get prompted to allow the application to take control of your computer. Enable Mesh Agent. Disconnect. Reconnect again. And this time you will be able to control your windows and type text. Now we will restart our virtual machine. So I just rebooted and I will go back on the server. And in my devices, I can see that my slave, my VM is not accessible anymore. So go on your main drive and then launch agents and edit the mesh agent.plist with any editor you want. In this case, we're going to use the standard editor, so it's a bit tricky. What you will want to do is to edit this line and type launch agent. Save it, and uh, because we use a standard text editor, we'll just save it on the desktop. And then close it and delete the original file. And move the edited file in the original folder. But you will also need to rename it and to ensure that uh, the extension of the file is .plist. Then you can reboot your system again. And finally, we should be able to see our device and access it remotely every time it boots without doing any operation.